I am proud to sign legislation that further strengthens Iowa's commitment to students, parents, teachers, and schools. House File 2612 will improve special, special education for students with disabilities and raise salaries for new and experienced teachers. Two foundational pillars of a world-class education system, which is exactly what we strive to provide for every student in our state. High quality teachers and instruction unlock the potential for student success, and this legislation delivers on both. It also puts a plan in place for meaningful and necessary reform to Iowa's area education agencies, a 50-year-old system unlike any other across the country. School districts today are required to send their local, state, and federal funding for media and ed services and special education to the AEA and mandated to use them to provide services. For some students in school districts, the AEAs have worked really well over the years, providing services and supports that help students achieve their goals and assist teachers in the classroom. And while that is the expectation, it hasn't been uh, it hasn't been the experience for all students in schools. Some schools haven't used some of the ADA services despite being forced to pay for them. Others have felt that they didn't receive the quality that they expect. And many schools, urban and rural, large and small, have raised concerns about the lack of transparency regarding the cost of ADA services. So these issues that have persisted for many years and the data shows the impact Iowa students with disabilities have consistently performed below the national average for 20 years. The AAs have done a tremendous amount of good for many, many years in Iowa, and all of us are appreciative of that. As I've said many times, there are a thousand bright stars in the AEA constellation. But the world has changed since the AEAs were created in 1974, and reform is needed. We've gained much in this bill that the governor is going to sign today. The bill itself makes changes that are modest and fair, but necessary, and will pose no threat to the viability of the system. We will have a new, we will have new accountability and transparency that's currently lacking. We brought everybody to the table, all the stakeholders were brought to the table. Superintendents, we have some here today, school boards, teachers, private schools, the AEAs, parents of students with disabilities, of which I am one, and the rural and urban school advocates. We held numerous meetings with everyone and worked with all sides to come to an agreement that is a win for education in our state. This is the largest teacher pay increase in the state's history, and I would probably, I haven't researched it, but I would guess potentially in the history of the country. We're providing raises for our paraprofessionals and other non-certified staff who are still highly needed and valuable workers in our schools. We are improving on a system that will see increases in outcomes for our students. There are those opposing this that tend to oppose every effort we have made to improve education in our state. Whether that was collective bargaining reform in 2018 when we expanded online learning for students, our charter school expansion bill, and our recent efforts to financially empower parents to get their students in the best educational setting they can with education savings accounts. Every single time, our efforts have improved our education system despite the opposition's claims. 